So as you guys can tell, I am very excited for this video right now. I'm very excited for the content I'm about to bring you guys. First of all, I just want to say sorry guys, I haven't been uploading at all because I've just been very busy moving around and stuff like that. As you can see, I'm in a very, very different environment right now. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, this is the new studio, my room, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's good vibes, you know, good vibes. But yeah, guys, today I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let me get it. Literally came in the mail today. Well, it was dropped off at a store. Um, so yeah, I went to pick it up, and there we have it. The iPhone 14 Pro Max. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Look at that. I've been waiting so long, so patiently. I ordered this device about four weeks ago now. And yeah, I should have pre-ordered it. I don't know why I didn't, but I was very spectacle about pre-ordering it so I can get it three weeks earlier. But I'm so glad I made the choice to actually order it and it came and it's been four weeks. It's been a long wait. I've been waiting for a long time, but it's finally here. I am very, very, very excited. So yeah, let's crack it open. Let's see what the hype is all about for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's get it. So first of all, let's have a look at the box because you guys know me. I'm a big, big box person. I love boxes and when a company um, makes a product with a nice box, I really, really do appreciate it. But yeah, as you can see, we have the nice, beautiful uh, iPhone logo right up front. Then obviously on the side, we still, we have the iPhone logo there as well. So it's on this side. And then on the bottom side, we just have the nice, beautiful Apple logo. And so on the front, on the top there as well. Now on the back here, we have a little bit of specs. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max, um, designed in, in, by Apple in California. Um, yeah, it tells you here, it's, uh, this is the Space Black, 128 gigs. And yeah, got it in the space black because it was the only color that I felt like was the best color to get. I mean, I was thinking about the purple one, but I thought it looked a bit too girly. So I thought, you know what? I'll stick with the space black one. And yeah, the black one is nice. I mean, the space black one is nice anyway. So and let's get straight right into this box. If I can open it, I don't even know if I can open it. Bear in mind, guys, let me just let you guys know. It's my first ever time unboxing an Apple product or even on unboxing an iPhone that I'm going to keep for myself. I think you pull on these tabs. Oh, wait. You do? Oh, okay. That did something. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. I can't believe my eye. I cannot believe my eye. A whole me, an Android Samsung Galaxy person for what? How many years? 2000 since, since 2016, and I've made the big jump of getting an iPhone, an iPhone 14 Pro Max, and wow, wow, <laughs> I'm astonished. Look at that. That looks amazing. That's already even in a box, man. Again, the presentation from Apple, absolutely awesome. Can't complain there at all. Wow, wow, wow. I've literally been trying to feel how this phone would feel in my hands. So I know people with the iPhone um, tw um, iPhone 12 Pro Max um, or even the iPhone 12 Plus and the, um, the iPhone 13 um, Pro Max as well. I've been trying to feel it to see how it looks and you know how it would feel in my hands because I'm, my daily driver is the Samsung Galaxy S20 and uh, 21 Ultra and yes, it's the same size. Actually, no, it's not the same size. Oh, wow, God damn. It's slightly longer than the iPhone 14 Pro Max, as you can see. It's slightly longer, but it's much more um, slimmer. It has a like a it has a bit more of a thinner profile, which is really really nice. But the iPhone 14 Pro Max is a lot more chunkier, a little bit more wider in the width, which I wasn't very very you know I wasn't very open about that because I'm so used to a phone that's kind of like. It's big, but it's kind of, the width is a little bit smaller, which is really nice and really comfortable in my hand. But obviously feeling everyone else's um, iPhone 13 Pro Max and stuff like that, I kind of kind of like it. it. I mean, it's something I'm going to get used to. Don't get it wrong, but it's something I'm going to get used to, but it really does feel good. Wow. Oh my God. I can't even imagine. I have an iPhone. <laughs> what the hell? I have a freaking iPhone and I'm going to be an iPhone user. 
<laughs> I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> well, yeah, um, I like the little indication actually on um, on the front of it, on the white bit. It, give, it tells you like the um, gives you a bit of information of what the buttons do, which is really really nice. Oh, nice! I like that touch as well. Actually, that actually to get to the bottom as well. And you can see you got the little lightning um, logo there, obviously for where you can plug it in and charge it up. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to get used to the lightning C cable, lightning C cable as well, because obviously um, all the cables with the Samsung and every Android phone I've had is always USB C. So yeah gonna have to get used to that um, in here we have some paperwork oh nice we need that we need the sim injector 2 as you can see there nice sim injector 2 over there very nice and slick and beautifully designed um, warranty card where's the warranty card oh wow you don't get any warranty card with Apple products or maybe you do you do you no 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 you don't you don't there's no warranty card at all with an iPhone just learned that my first time you know every time I've things First things is the first thing to learn, I don't know. But yeah, we've got a sticker as well. We've got an Apple sticker as well, so you can stick it wherever you want on your phone, wherever you want to stick it, you can stick it. Apple doesn't really care, they just include it because because they can is a little treat for you to you know enjoy when you unbox the phone. And then we have the lightning cable, which is to USB C. Hmm, that's very interesting. Oh shoot. Actually. No, my wait, is it? I think. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's not good. That's really bad. Because I think the charger for my iPhone, the charging brick, no, for my Samsung, the charging brick is USB, um, the US, the normal USB K um, plug in to USB C. I don't actually think it's directly USB C, so that's going to be a problem. I don't know how I'm going to juice this phone up. Um, this is what happens when you buy an iPhone and you have no idea what you're doing. You don't even know what you're buying into, but yeah, I have to now buy a fast charging brick that goes from USB-C to USB, no, just from USB-C, man. That's going to be annoying. I'm going to probably ask my brother and see if he's got one so I can charge this phone up. But yeah, um, yeah, USB-C to lightning port, as you guys can see right there. So you got USB-C to the lightning port right there, which is pretty cool. Don't know how I'm going to charge the phone, but it is what it is. Let's put that to the side and let's draw our attention to the actual device. Right. Oh, wow. This device looks amazing. Oh my God. I'm already getting fingerprints on it already. Fingerprints on the freaking camera. Now, to be honest with you, it's not really... There's no fingerprint, it's not a fingerprint magnet. It kind of has the same the same back um, as the Galaxy's um, S21 Ultra actually. It's got, a, it's that, got that nice matte finish at the back, which is really nice. Fingerprint is not really going to be that much effective on it. Actually, putting it to the camera, they kind of look similar in the, the color actually look kind of similar to be honest with you. But I think it's just the lighting, lighting, but this, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is a lot more darker than the Galaxy S, um, than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I need to start getting used to saying I, iPhones, because <laughs> I'm always used to, you know, unboxing and reviewing the Samsung um, devices. It's just, it's just, just a second nature to me saying Samsung. I have to now swap over to saying iPhones now. Let's peel this bad boy off. Get a little nice little shot about of this. Ooh wait! Oh my god! <laughs> Looks so me. Let me power it on real quick. Let me power it on. I don't even know how to power it on. Oh oh oh! We got we got something. Got the nice Apple logo there. That looking nice. Wow. I tell you, let me tell you guys a little bit more about iPhones, the reason why I started to enjoy it a little bit. Just a little bit, I'm going to make a separate video on this, but oh wow, look at that, look at that. The attention to detail is absolutely awesome, wow, 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 look at that. I don't remember what it's called, it's some kind of island thing, they call it island, something island on the top, yeah. Can't remember what it is, what it's called, but it's pretty cool, that's why I went for the but this it looks wow this looks absolutely amazing but anyways um samsung just ain't doing it enough for me anymore i bought i, I have a samsung because of the camera camera is not good at all 
that's why I decided to go with the iPhone 14 Pro Max because the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the camera on this phone is just absolutely insane. 48 megapixel camera on this bad boy, which is absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big movement from the iPhone 13 um, um, series, which I think had 12 megapixel, and they've stepped it up to 48 megapixels. So I thought, you know what, yeah, now was the best time to grab this phone. But yeah, I'm gonna go into more further details about why I made the switch in another video. But right now, it's all about this device, man. All about this, ooh, wow. Just set it, just look at that. Oh my goodness. That's so amazing, man. And one thing I was skeptical about this device was the, the, the island and on the top because obviously I've seen the Pro and the Pro Max and um, pictures and the Pro Max actually the, the island looked a little bit more chunky and bigger than the than the Pro. The Pro one has the, the island is a little bit more smaller. But with this, I saw in the picture is a little bit thicker. But looking at it and seeing it in person, actually isn't as big as I thought it would be. Like the pictures were saying, were or were looking at, it's actually perfect, man. It's beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Obviously, on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, you got the hole punch um, on the top of the screen there. Just look at them side by side. It looks absolutely awesome, man. But I, I, I'm I'm all right with that, man. That looks beautiful, man. That looks awesome also i love the design of the gallic of the of the iphone 14 pro max as well which is looks so nice like when apple actually introduced the design from the iphone 4 back into the galaxy i think it was the galaxy no the iphone 12 they started off there to imp to implement that design everyone hated it i hated it it just did not look nice but it grew it, it grew on me because a few years later 2022 now and the design is just so freaking amazing i mean look at the camera module that is a big camera module man look at that that is absolutely awesome i can't wait to start taking pictures with this phone i, I cannot wait to just enjoy using this phone and just giving you guys my own my, my review and my opinion about this phone obviously moving from from samsung all the way over to apple so yeah i'm very excited and yeah it's quite a light phone it's not too heavy to be honest with you i mean the Galaxy S21 Ultra is a little bit lighter, but I mean, it's still it's still a nice phone. But yeah, guys, that's been the video on the Gal on the Galaxy. See what I mean, guys? I'm so used to saying Samsung is like just at the tip of my tongue. I meant it's been the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. But yeah, that's been the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I just want to check something. Yes. Yes. One thing I didn't like about the Galaxy S21 Ultra, I keep going on guys, when you shake it, you can actually hear the camera module moving around. Look, you hear that? That's the camera inside moving around. But with the iPhone, no sound whatsoever at all. So yeah, uh, it's been a long time coming, but I mean, that's gonna be for another video. But yeah, I'm gonna end this, this video and set my new iPhone up and just see what the iPhone community is all about. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a ride. It's gonna be a ride. But yeah, um, yeah, it's, I just still need to get my mind frame into the Apple ecosystem and the iPhone ecosystem and all that stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, like, share the video, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you think about the new iPhones and which iPhone you actually picked up for yourself. And tell, let me know how long did you guys wait in? How long do you guys wait as well for your phone? But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much. for. I keep saying thank you guys, but thank you, thank you. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.